Use these run defenses to stuff your opponent dead. Coming up next. Full Game Prometheus, the only YouTuber that shows you full games of all the tips and schemes I post on my channel. I'll show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. So guys, new to my channel, make sure to subscribe button, also that notification icon, so you can never miss an upload. So guys, I had uh, a few subscribers actually reach out to me and ask me for run defense. Um, I will tell you that run defense is very difficult in Madden 20. Uh, uh, running is overpowered. It's actually good for the game. They actually have uh, an incentive to run the ball. I'm to show you a couple different schemes that I have used online to stop the run. Is it an end-all be-all? No. Um, you're always going to get a, a person that's going to break a run uh, because the run defense I'm going to show to you essentially is a very, a very aggressive run defense. I'm not going to show you how to shoot gaps. I'm just going to basically show you how to set up a run defense that is stock, that is going to stop the run, but is very vulnerable to the pass. So I want to just stress that if you come on top of this video and you comment well I'm going to destroy this with a play action pass yes this is run defense it's not uh, it's not a base defense that you can run the entire time this is just basically saying I need to stop this guy's run because he's shredding it now there's a couple different formations that we can take a look at uh, we'll be taking a look at the, at the 34 pair the odd and also the 4-4 split. Um, I, I would stay, uh, if you got to stop a guy the run, I would stay out of these nickel defenses, dime defenses. They're not designed to stop the run. So you need to go into heavier sets if a guy's running the ball against you, even if it puts uh, wide receivers uh, against uh, your defender. So let's go and take a look at the first defense that I ran successfully against a guy that was actually using goal line against me uh, throughout the majority of the game. And the play we're going to take a look at is going to be the linebacker fire blitz so uh, basically with this play we're gonna both we're gonna go ahead and base the line we're gonna take our linebackers and spread them out we're gonna take our key our, our linemen and spread them in we're gonna press uh, to get our, our guys down and then we're gonna go ahead and make an adjustment by taking our defensive backs on the outside the square or triangle or Y or X whatever it is on um, Xbox we're gonna go ahead and put these guys in cloud flats uh, to basically go ahead and get these guys to attack that. And the last adjustment we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and put these guys, uh, put our guys in a QB contain so we can go ahead and follow it. Now I'm going to use the middle linebacker over here, but you can see I've got nine in the box. I've got defensive backs that are actually going ahead and playing uh, the, the outside. So base of the line, you press. We're going to go ahead and spread our linebackers, QB contain, and then if we got time, we're going to go ahead and put these guys in cloud flats because what's going to happen is they're going to attack the ball instead of actually falling up. So let's just go ahead and watch where the ball goes. It looks like this might be some kind of a run or a reverse. And you can see that actually gets blown up, not a common play online. Base line, take your defensive line, keeping a team, press. We're going, to, we're going to take those corners and actually put them on cloud flats. We're just going to use the guy, the the, uh, the free safety. As you can see, why you want to put those guys in Claude Flats is they're going to attack that outside run. So when I was using this defense, a guy that was using a lot of outside runs, and I was really struggling initially, once I got these guys in Claude Flats, they would attack the outside and generally will get inside of blocking positions forcing him to actually go ahead. It was actually shutting down his run on the outside. He's, he was forced to cut back in. And I could actually be on the outside here over the top cleaning it up. So that's what I do like about the stick of the defense. Once again, uh, you are got you got a bunch of guys on singles. You can get bombed up top with this. So uh, it's a very aggressive defense against a run. You'll probably have to mix it in in running situations where you think he's going to run it because uh, you can get easily bombed up top uh, if you get caught off guard. So you don't want to spam this defense as an end-all be-all. This is a very aggressive de defense to use. Now, um, another now another defense you can use is out of the odd um, and the odd defense uh, in particular the probably it's a battle tested defense it works uh, is the edge blitz one very easy setup uh, it's got fairly good coverage because you're really not committing your guys so we're going to base a line we're going to take your defensive line and, and and 
we go ahead and push them in. We're going to take our outside linebackers and push them in. And then we're going to just go ahead and press. And we're just going to use her, once again, this free safety like previously and just see where the run's going to go. And a lot of times these defenders are going to come off their blocks. So we're going to pinch our line. We're going to spread our linebackers out. We're going to go and press. And as you can see right here, another uh, play action end around. It gets easily shut down. Take our line and linebackers and spread them out. We're going to press, and we're going to set this up. Now, this, line, this is basically a fairly easy defense to set up. Very, very effective against the run. It's going to go and blow up draws and a lot of those outside runs, too. You don't have to make any kind of adjustments with the line or linebackers. You just go ahead and, and pinch and then spread your linebackers and just play the gaps. There's always going to be guys in the area. Now, another defensive setup that you can use uh, in conjunction with maybe a cover four, uh, cover four drop show two is basically a cover two coverage uh, and is actually the pinch dog press. Uh, this is kind of an aggressive blitz setup uh, or, or run defense. Uh, you can get yourself in some trouble with it, but it's it, it's um, it's it's pretty effective against the run too. So with this, basically, you're going to go ahead and take your your linebackers. You're going to pinch them down. Um, you're going to you're going to go ahead and press. You're going to take one of these guys right here and put him on a QB contain, and you take this other guy and actually put him. Or you're going to use this guy like this. Now, what's the problem with this defense? It's obviously over the top shell. Uh, is going to be exposed to, to the pass, but once again, this is just going to give your opponent kind of a different look. And because you've got a QB contained with one of your safeties, he's going to go ahead and clean up a lot of the runs too. So you're going to use this guy right here, play a little pat, pat, pass coverage, but you can see um, this just really blows things up. Line, go ahead and take the linebackers and, and press them. And go ahead and use this guy right here. And a lot of times that pressure is going gonna, is gonna to come off the edge. So we're going to go ahead and keep it contained. Like if you're giving, you're getting a look like this, uh, where basically you've got um, a bunch of, uh, you know, you've got a spread look. I probably would run and go into this type of a defense. So you can QB contain to go ahead and set the edges. And as you can see, he goes gets right in the backfield with that run. Baseline, pinch, press. The QB contain just set the edges. And you can see he actually blows that reverse up. Baseline pinch, press, QB contain. And if you got time, uh, you can go ahead and just take this guy. You've got you got the um, spy in the middle. And as you can see, these guys just come ru uh, rushing out to the outside. So this defense is really more effective against someone that actually likes to run the ball the outside. But as you can see, what happens is this guy right here gets out uh, because of the uh, the cubic contain and actually gets gets the edge. I've got him biting in too, and because I've got a spy in my user, the the spy actually scrapes, and then I'm just going to go ahead and use her the outside to force him back into my spy. So. You can see right here, because of the way this defense is set up, uh, there's basically three guys triangulating him and actually catching him behind the line of scrimmage. Now, uh, you know, obviously you can get yourself in some trouble with that defense, so what you can do is you can go ahead um, and show your opponent the same type of look, but go ahead and jump into uh, cover four with this defense. So now you actually can go ahead and give your opponent kind of a look, and now you're going to be jumping into cover four, and that's going to be like kind of the mind game that you're going to play. So the first two defenses I showed you uh, basically are, you know, the first those three defenses are actually really designed uh, to kind of give your opponent, you know, kind of that mind game. But now you can go ahead and start playing 
uh, with your opponent and actually going ahead and using like a cover four look shell and he's going to not know whether he's going to be able to run or pass and it's really going to drive him nuts so once again to my subscribers thank you for support guys i'll be rolling out more different types of tips to go ahead and take your game to the next level if you like these type of tips make sure you go ahead and smash that like button i'll be rolling out more stuff until next time